Hello everyone and welcome to Sunburned Albino Dissects All the Negative Comments He Received on His All 100 Bug Snacks Ranked Worst to Best by Taste video. It's literally been years since I dissected negative comments, and the video in question hasn't quite reached 100k views, so if you're wondering what the special occasion is, it's that people said dumb shit and pissed me off. A perfectly wholesome excuse to run a verbal train on some dudes. Also, it's fun and easy, so maybe I'll just start doing this again. Now, the original vid for context is me ranking the bug snacks in bug snacks by assumed taste, which are based off real foods, so I make a lot of comments about real foods, and unsurprisingly, a lot of people are very picky about their foods and get very visibly upset if you don't like their foods. Most of these comments I don't care about, but a couple of them were logically infuriating. Let's reflect bullets and lay some smack down. Brad2 writes, This guy sounds like the kind of seven-year-old that throws away the crust of bread and takes all the greens out of his sandwich. First of all, there would never be any greens in my sandwich to take out to begin with. If we're talking subs, I'm a meat and cheese man. Give me some turkey, give me some cheddar. Lettuce is for Peloton owners and people who've had diabetes scares. Case in point of why some people hate me now. I've actually never had the crust cut off of my regular bread sandwiches, even as a child, so I guess that makes me a gangster. Ratman writes, This man sounds like he eats nothing but synthetic cheese slices. Synthetic cheese slices? Disgusting. I only eat synthetic hamburgers from McDonald's. Mallow writes, Today I learned Albino doesn't know what sour cream and relish are. You're probably right, given how many other people commented similar sentiments. I was talking about the Loaded Spuddy, which is a baked potato bug snack or something, and it had a dollop of cream on it that I thought was whipped cream, so I said whipped cream because it looked like whipped cream and I've never eaten a baked potato, so I don't know what goes on it. Sour cream sounds absolutely horrendous just from a conceptual standpoint. The name alone is enough to make me not want to ever try it. Hey girl, you want some of my sour cream? If you're not in jail by the end of the day after asking someone that, then an injustice has taken place. Green Dragon Inn writes, My takeaway from this is Albino has literally terrible taste. I have tremendous taste. That's why it's so limited. Since when does good taste mean you like everything? That's no taste. You're just a garbage can at that point. I like all kinds of foods. Then rip your tongue out and plug your nose. You don't need to taste anything. It's all the same to you. Bibs.mcf quotes my line in the video, You eat fries with barbecue, it doesn't need a sweetener, and then writes, Would you mind telling me what barbecue sauce tastes like? Barbecue sauce tastes like barbecue, but as a sauce. If it was sweet, I'd frost a cake with it, but since everyone would call me a psycho if I did that, I assume it's got its own category, separate from everything else people might call sweet. That Pengu writes, I don't trust the judgment of someone who pronounces IDK. Well, I just quoted you, and I pronounced it again, which means you pronounced it, since I read your words from your perspective with a guess on your tone of voice. Can you trust yourself after that? May Yi writes, Yeah, the whole list was nullified once you favored peanut butter over jam. Uh, it's jelly. You meant to say jelly. I know you spelled favored with a U, so you're probably a weirdo right out of the gate, but jelly is gross. It's congealed afterbirth, like I said in the video. If you like jelly, you should try committing cannibalism on a pregnant woman. You'll get a lot of the same juices out of it. Waxy writes, This is the kind of guy who orders a cheeseburger and takes everything but the patty off. You're close. I order three hamburgers with ketchup only. You can't just take stuff off a burger. The flavor lingers. Some pieces get stuck. That's like drinking a glass of milk and then switching beverages in the same glass without even rinsing it. You deserve to throw up at that point. Indominus space underscore cool writes, This man sounds like an annoyed baldi with a sore throat that also has leukemia. <laughs> Is it possible to sound bald? Like, if I shaved my head right now, would my voice change at all? Or would I just start talking about chess and the stock market all day? As soon as the last hair gets shaved off my head, I'm just like, Let's go! We take those! I'm godlike! And other quotes from bald people. I don't have a sore throat, or a deep one, so don't get any ideas. As far as leukemia is concerned, I'm not eight years old, so according to medical dramas, I passed the age threshold a long time ago. Bryce Burke writes, alternative title, Internet Man talks about food that he hates for 23 minutes. This is the part where it gets a little irksome because this is a common theme among comments is that I supposedly hate all foods 
even though it's a worst to best ranking, aka nearly half the list is positive, and there are other comments where people are like severely doubling down on their assertion that I like literally zero foods and erasing the last 10 minutes of the video that is strictly positive about the foods I like. So I pinned a comment a couple weeks ago that read, people commenting, does this dude like anything? Like the last 10 minutes of the video never happened? That was the comment. And I got a reply from Philip the Pufferfish that went like this. The video is 23 fucking minutes, mate. That's half the video. Also, to prove my point, here's a list of all the foods you disliked. And then he listed 35 foods specifically, following that with, There you go, mate. Got enough proof? I'm just in awe of the fundamental misunderstanding of what a worst to best video is. He listed all the foods I put closer to the worst category. Where's the list of all the foods I put closer to the best category? Nowhere to be seen? Hmm, I believe this is what people call cherry picking, but I wouldn't know because I don't like cherries. You might as well have looked at a yin-yang symbol and been like, this is a yin symbol. Look at the yin. It's right there. There. there you go, mate. Got enough proof? And then anyone would be like, what about the yang? And he's like, I don't see any fucking yang, mate. I'm a yin man, and you can see the yin clear as day, so this is a yin symbol, and that's all there is, mate. Like, nah, there's a yang also. You just saw the yin first and decided to fixate on it for some reason. Remember, he was talking about the length of my negative food opinions, and he literally said, that's half the video. Oh, so you do get it. I ranked stuff from worst to best, and the worst was half the video. You're right on target, mate. So tell me why you're wearing an eye patch and can only perceive half the depth. That's why it bothers me. None of this is personal, either towards me from other people or towards other people from me. I just see a take that's half blind and it lives rent free in my head until I address it. There was another comment from someone named Pixel that replied to my pinned comment who wrote, Oh man, can't wait to see how positive the first 13 minutes of this video was gonna be and cool bug snap. Oh, like you all can read the title, right? You know worst to best means the worst comes first. I've never had this problem with any other worst to best ranking. People are usually capable of basic English comprehension. A worst to best ranking? Hey, how come the first half of this video was so negative? Watch it on rewind if that helps. I don't know what else to tell you. Well, that's gonna do it for this dissection. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at SunburnedAlbino, and I'll see you guys next time.